Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Kate Loeb, and I'm a part of the team ministry at Mainland Baptist Church. The title of our devotional today is Let Your Death Shape Your Life, and the scripture for this devotional can be found in Ecclesiastes 7, 1 through 5, and this scripture says, A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of countenance the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of the fools. And the devotional says, It might rain, your team might win, the restaurant might be good. There's a lot of mites in this life. We live in a world full of uncertainties, but you can always depend on one certainty. You're going to die. You can choose to ignore it, ignore it try to distract yourself from it, exercise and eat healthy to try to postpone it, but you can't escape it. This reality prompts the author of Ecclesiastes to say it's better to go to a funeral than a feast. Parties can bring fun, but cemeteries can bring wisdom. Ecclesiastes 7.1 says that while death is a foreboding reality, the end of all men, it can teach us how to live. The living will lie to its heart. Dwell on the certainty of your death for a moment. Does the knowledge of this ine inevitable reality reshape your life? Do you believe the gospel? Is there a broken relationship you need to mend? Is there a friend you need to share Christ with? Is there an important conversation you need to have with a loved one? When we embrace the reality of life's brevity, it allows us to see every moment as a gift from our gracious Heavenly Father. This can and should have a radical impact on our decisions about time, resources, and relationships. So prepare for death by resting in the gospel of Jesus Christ, and then let your death shape the way you live your life. The thought to glow for this devotional as well is prepare for death and allow it to shape your life. Thank you and join us again tomorrow.